Oh yeah, this thing's is clicking way faster than me. I wonder if we will see consciousness call. Oh no, we are running out of ionized star dust. I wanted to see the consciousness school. Hey there, we're back on the series 40 episode 24 and today we will be making the automation for the assisting game. Um, right away, the first thing I notice is I didn't remember, but there was this bug in uh, with the nebula loading, right? So here is the modification. I will show you in Godot what it looks like. Do I have it here? It's in handler nebulas. Is it somewhere? Yeah, handler nebulas. Actually, in the for loop with the var index, the index plus equal one was missing. So that is, that is what you want to add to fix the bug I noticed in the last episode, right? Okay, so that being done, um, yeah, today we want to make automation. So I think it will be very simple at the moment. Um, we will define uh, an interval. Is that how we say it in English? We will define duration for the bot to reveal a tile. So at first it won't be very efficient, right? You need to buy upgrades to make it more efficient. And basically the idea is that the faster you want it to return ties, return? No, uncover ties, uh, the more ionized stardust it will cost. Okay, so let's go in our sifting game. That's this one. We could start by creating the UI for it, but it's probably easier to actually make the feature and then know what we need and make the UI based on the needs of the feature. So, yeah, I think we will start by creating a new variable, which will which will be a uh, is active or is inactive. Um, is it Automated or not. Now that we have a variable, we do need a timer that will tell the game when to return a time. All right. So let's create a timer. Okay. So let's grab this um, timer in here. Okay. Let's not make it too complicated. Let's have it one second and yeah, so we need to do something specific if automation is running. Um, yeah. Let's add a function. Let's not bother with the state change at the moment. And let's just consider that, that the, the, the automation is on and make everything we need when the automation is on. So let's run the game to get a slight look at what we want to do. So here 
we do want the game to try to return a tile every second, let's say every second. So we will want to loop through the tiles until we find one which is covered. And if we find no covered tiles, we will just reset the grid. Sounds like something not too hard to do. So let's create this function, shall we? We want to rebuild the tiles, so do we have a method for that? I'm pretty sure that we don't. No. No, we don't. So what we will want to do is to grab everything in there. The reason why I do not rename this method is because of the connection here. So if I rename it and create unpressed somewhere else, I don't know, I could do something weird, I don't want to try it. And the method will be uh, reveal. I don't know. That's very not so good. Because we succeeded. Warnings? Really? The value is cast to, but yeah, that's exactly the point. So yeah, if we do reveal the time we want to return, and otherwise, if we don't find a tie to reveal, then what we want to do is to regenerate the grid and call on automation tie reveal again. So we do reveal a tie. Okay, so now we just need to connect the timer signal, I think. I'm quite curious to see how it is working at the moment. Yep, that's not what I wanted to do. So let's see if I go there. Um, yeah, that looks like this is not revealing. So anyway, here I should add a is revealed true. All right, let's try again. No, I don't need this breakpoint anymore. Okay. If I put this to 0 0.05, that's going to be wide. Oh yeah, this thing's is clicking way faster than me. Let's have this to 0 0.5, that's cool. I think it's a decent speed. Yeah, it's very decent. Well, maybe a little bit faster. We do want to have a cost for the automation. And that cost is going to be um, the actual cost of INA starters to reveal the type. So um, I'm thinking maybe here we will have a cost thing and we will try to get cost there. So we will, when we click, we'll be costing one stardust, INA stardust. And when we do reveal with 
um, the automation, it will cost three. Okay, so that's gonna be a little bit more expensive. I think it's cool. So, yeah, now we need to add a visual thing that should be, you know, the option. Maybe we can do like the last time. I want to have a H box, but the size of this will be shrink begin, and that will be shrink end. So I will have the texture in there. Then I will have a button, a check button. Then I will change this alignment to end. Okay, it doesn't work. Too bad. Um, so I will just change the order then. Yep. So we have the check button and now we want to add a label, which is going to be there. And that will say automation. Oh, I really can type these days. So we have the automation thing. All right. Okay. So now this button will have a signal which we will connect to on check button. Um, let's rename this automation check button. Okay, a little bit better. Ah, perfect. <laughs> I don't know what's happening in my brain right now. Anyway, um, yeah, that's cool. Are we done? Maybe. I guess we are. It's not much. Did I do more? No. No, it's okay. Well, I hope you liked this episode, which was all about automating this cute little mini game, which isn't that super interesting and fun, but since it's gonna be left on automation anyway, who cares, right? So maybe we can leave it like this. Maybe we can add a few consciousness scores to make this core oh, upgrades to make these um, games a little bit more efficient. Maybe increasing the amount of stardust which are coming out of it. Oh, I'm getting a few ideas for the next episode. That's great. Anyway, I hope you liked it and. I will see you in the next one. See ya.